Hi, Aaron. Um, we were recently at the Gartner Data Center event in Vegas, and since there was so much buzz about cloud computing and uh, people were trying to sort of define and understand for themselves the differences between public and private cloud computing, um, and since Asigra deals with cloud backup, I thought you could help us in defining and understanding the differences between public and private cloud backup. Sure, no problem. That question comes up a lot when we uh, open dialogue with prospects and, and partners and customers. So basically a private cloud, I'll first talk a little bit about private clouds and public clouds and then I'll uh, relate that to cloud, to, to backup, private cloud backup and public cloud backup. I just want to set um, some context to it. Um, so cl private clouds, uh, you own the infrastructure, you own the software licenses, you own the network, you own the application, you own the data, um, and you're running it in, uh, you know, by yourself. You're either managing it yourself or somebody's managing it for you, but you own you know, the pieces. Um, uh, while this sounds familiar, because you may say, well, that's what I'm doing today, the difference is, is that the technology that you're using was designed for the cloud computing era. And while you may see backup as just backup is backup is backup, it's not like that. There is backup technology that you probably have installed in your environment that you're using and managing today, but that technology, that backup technology and other technologies were designed for the distributed computing era, and then there is backup technology that was designed for the cloud computing era, okay? Just like your servers. Physical servers, very much designed for the distributed computing era. Virtual servers, very much designed for the cloud computing era. The real servers, yes, but One's designed for cloud computing and one's designed for the distributed, you know, uh, physical world. So um, when it comes to cloud backup, cloud backup really means you, you're, you're, all your environments or all your laptops or all your data is getting backed up into your facility and, um, you know, you own the application, you own the data, and uh, not only only the data, but you own the drives and everything else that's associated with it and the technology. It may be hosted in the, in the cloud you know, uh, somewhere else, uh, off-site, but you still own it, run it, operate it, and manage it. A public cloud backup is a kind of a service that you buy from a service provider. You don't own the backup application. Your data gets transferred off-site uh, into the service provider's facility or facilities, and there it's kept for safekeeping. Uh, you can keep a local copy for yourself as well as an off-site copy. It's called a hybrid cloud. And um, one of the reasons why this is different than just using distributed uh, backup technology to do the same thing, you know, I can take backup technology and just, you know, put the, put the data somewhere else. I'm used to doing that, I've been doing that, is because you're using technology, again, that's designed for cloud computing. So it's got, uh, you know, deduplication, compression, encryption, this kind of technology. The actual backup software application doesn't run and is not tied to physical machines. It's been abstracted from physical machines. So you can move it around from site to site. You can move it around from service provider to service provider. And so you get this kind of data portability, data mobility, which is inherent in cloud computing. And that's some of the differences between private cloud backup and public cloud backup, plus a little bit extra. Awesome. Thank you.